Police, they said that it was one dude that hopped out the car from where Julio Fulio, he ran inside the place. You can see the blood drippers on the ground. The dude started bleeding out real bad before he even reached the door. As soon as he grabbed the door, he went inside, told them, could y'all please help me? Please help. Julio Fulio, he was already deceased at the scene. Here, four people were shot and so were two cars. Police say they are also now a part of the investigation. A birthday celebration that took a turn for the worst. Hey, the pool party started the day at 5, 6 o'clock. All right, so look, man. I don't know if it's going to be a quick video or not, but Fulio people finally stepping up to the plate, man. The other day I made a video about some dude. What's his name again? Lil Crocker? I don't know. The song I heard was sounding good, though. He got a music video he's about to drop with uh, Fulio that they actually shot the day of his funeral. And it does sound fire. And now some other dude, oh, Martha 55. Now shout out to him in a time where all of these rappers got some weird names. This is kind of a cool name, if you know the meaning behind it. But I never heard of this dude a day in my life. No disrespect to him. But I just recently found out he was one of the guys who was uh, shot that night with Fulio, but he survived. And I want to correct this guy's name, uh, Omerta. Uh, I said it was 55, but it's obviously 5'5". Five, five. I'm assuming he's in some type of gang. I don't know. Style me out, man. I'm no gang gang in evil tween. But yeah, I think it's pronounced Omerta 5'5", five, five, and not 55. But yeah, he was there that night at the Holiday Inn. Man, matter of fact, hey, speedy recovery, man. I'm glad you made it out. And the music actually sounds good. That's about, that's what I'm about to address here pretty soon. But before I get to that, man, what the hell y'all was doing at the Holiday Inn, fam? Seriously. I don't even tell people to DM me or hit me up in the comment. But man, you got to tell me what was y'all doing at the Holiday Inn, fam? Seriously. Like, fam, not even trying to be funny. Y'all could have hit me up, man. I would have got y'all another Airbnb. The holiday in? Like, that's just crazy, fam. And on his birthday? What? Why is this dude at the holiday in on his birthday? Boy, I'm mad as hell because I like Fulio. My eyes thinking that I'm super mean. What's my other song? Boy, you're not a threat. Swear to God, just relax. Something, something, you might catch me in it, scat. You gonna catch me in it, scat me in it, scat. Boy, that's my little song right there. So I'm just mad the way that went down. Like you can't be at the Holiday Inn. But on top of it all, you can't be at the Holiday Inn on your birthday. But nonetheless, rest in peace to Fulio. Now let me get back serious here. Now this dude O'Murth the 5 5 he actually dropped a music video rapping about everything that happened at night. And man, I gotta say this dude pretty solid. A lot of these Jacksonville rappers, they're surprising me right now. I I'm shocked. But yeah, he rapped about that night, everything that took place. The song is called June 23rd, hence the night that Fulio died. Or should I say the morning that Fulio died? And this is also the same morning he got shot because again, he was there with Fulio. The song itself was good, I'm impressed. Good job to this Amertha dude. First impressions means a lot. And this is the first time I ever heard of him. And I can say this is a good first impression. Bad circumstances, of course. The dude just got shot up. That's why I heard about him. But he definitely delivered. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out for yourself. I'm surprised it only has 58,000 views. Now y'all know I'm a pretty honest person. So I can't sit here and lie. The video could have been a lot better. I think he dropped the ball. This could have been a big moment. It was a little too basic for me, especially for this moment. Not a bad video at all, but given the circumstances, it could have been better. Boy, I would have shot this video right in front of the Holiday Inn. Don't y'all ever try to kill me, punks. Sight, sight, nah, don't do that, no. That'll be stupid. I'm not gonna even lie. Don't listen to me, because I definitely wouldn't do that myself. Boy, I'm over here trying to make this dude crash out. My bad, fam. The video good, man. I got carried away. I started thinking this was a little action movie or something. 
I forgot it was real life. But yeah, man, he's still in the cast right now. He had had surgery on his arm. A few things that stood out in the song to me, he was saying how he feels like he has uh, survivor's remorse. He wish it was him instead of Julio. They cut the head off the snake. I lost my thoughts, I couldn't think. My mind just kept going blank. Giving myself all the blame, cause how he dying, I'm still safe. I started wishing it was me, they chopped the head right off the snake. They took the whole right from the hood, but now he hanging with Lil' Jay. Saying how he about to start purging. And he said once he healed up, he getting back in action. So many shots sit up that car and now I'm scarred and full of sad. That shit got real weight till I heal, watch how old murder get an ass. Fucked up my arm, wait till I get in my hand, this bitch right back to clap. I'm under pressure, I gotta blow it, get my ass back in that field. I got remorse just from surviving, niggas don't know how that feels. So hey, take that how you wanna take it. He was saying how he didn't find out uh, Fulio had died until he actually uh, finished surgery. So yeah, a lot of stuff was going on that night. He talks about it all in this song. Well, not everything, of course. But this is the closest y'all gonna get. He was there that night. He was actually shot. But again, overall, I'm impressed. Reminds me of like the old G Herbo. That's the best way I can explain his flow. But so far, I like this guy a lot. I gotta check out some more of his music. But judging by this song, I'm definitely tuning in. And I also recommend y'all to go check it out. This isn't any paid promotion. Never spoke to this dude a day of my life. But I definitely like this song. And I recommend y'all go check it out as well. Oh, Murder 5-5, June 23rd. Not bad at all, man. I gotta go check out the rest of your music. Hopefully you got some pain music. Like some real life music. And not just like drilling and I'm gonna kill you. Because with that flow you got, you could do something. Legit reminds me of like... 2016 G Herbo. Oh, whenever that was when him and Lil Bibby used to rap together a lot. Y'all know Lil Bibby don't rap no more. Well, that dude dropped free crack and retired. That's my mixtape right there. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZF Baby 252. Some of y'all Jacksonville dudes, y'all surprising me, man. I can't even lie. Y'all just got to stop rapping about killing so much. Like, Fulio would still be alive right now if he was just focused on making hit songs instead of this song. That dude could rap. I like him a little better than Young and Ace. But I'm gone. That shit got real weight till I heal. Watch how old murder get an ass. Fucked up my arm, wait till I get in my hand. This bitch right back to clapping. The recap. I'm high. It's the first day in Tampa. It was fun while it lasted. We came deep in my birthday, man. Everybody talking about this spell. Oh my God, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We deep as hell. We deep as hell. 20 deep. Lit. Everywhere we go. Street.